This is a very grand version of the Milkman's Wallet or the Magic Wallet at all. It's got crisscrossing ribbons and they do remarkable things. In one of them, the ribbons are going vertically up and down and parallel, and the other one are crossing over. So let me show you what you can do. Here's a British five pound note, and I'll place it on there like that. And then I'll just drop it down, and now it's underneath, it's been entrapped. And if I push that down to there, it's entrapped in the other one. So all sorts of extraordinary things you can do to make people fools think that you're doing real life magic, but all you're doing is crossing it back and forward. Very nice effect. So I looked for other versions of this, some um, more designs of this, and I found, well, that's nearly half a dozen, I think. That's the, that's the, that's the classic one. Just for interest, I found this one in Iceland, the same thing, but it's made of fish skin, which is very nice. But it's got the scrubbing ribbons, it's got, here we are, it's holding that little card there. And when you flip it back up again, it's now holding it between the parallel pieces. But it's made of fish skin, which I like. Very, very nicely made. Picked it up in Reykjavik. The Chobar Toy Company made a very, very pleasing version of a of proper magic trick. And this one, since it is magic, I won't explain it, but it's first of all got some, it's got ribbons and it's got a little, <clears throat> a little piece of paper here I've got to undo. Let's see, yes, Ooh, there's a penny in it. There's a penny. <clears throat> now if I fold it up again and just flop it over like that, <clears throat> there it is. Let's see if the penny is still there or has it been sent into high hyper space? No, it disappears. No penny. It's, so we'll clock it like that. We'll flip, flop, flip, flop, flip. <clears throat> well, has it reappeared or not? Oh, yes, it has. Look, there we are. The penny has reappeared. It appears and disappears at will just by flopping it over. Is that a lovely effect? It also reminded me to look for other versions of this. And this is one I don't think I've ever seen in the market. The, a suggestion, I'll put it down to show the effect lying down on the table, if that's a bit better. It's got a blank thing here. And when I turn it over, goodness me, it's suddenly got things in it. It's got those inside and then disappears as if by magic. Well, that's extraordinary. And now it's disappeared. Now it's going to reappear if it needs to be watched because it's going to fall out. So as you flip it over, it appears, disappears. Isn't that bizarre? And then if I take it over here again, and now if it, there it appears. Look at that, extraordinary. A very nice bit of packaging, and it, all they're suggesting is that you might care to use this. They're not selling this as a thing. They're, they're selling it to, to, for you to put something inside it as a package, which appears and disappears. It also reminded me that Rubik, oh no, Rubik, the, after he'd finished with the cube, the next thing he made was the Rubik magic, which is really the same idea, but the, by doing it at 45 degrees, you can make it do two 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 movements which you cannot do with the with the single ones extraordinary that will go that way like that and then it'll go upwards like that which is extraordinary what they haven't he hasn't yet solved is doing one in three dimensions i think it could be done but almost in three dimensions you can have this thing here which is looks highly three-dimensional but it was a box containing little sweets which came out um about 10 years ago for one of our departmental stores and when you open it up like that, the idea is to solve the cube because it's an all mismatch. You found you've got crisscrossing ribbons. There they are, all in black, but crisscrossing, and they crisscross, crisscross there very nicely. When you finish the crisscrossing ribbons, look what you've got a solved cube. And that's really the Milkman's Wallet, rich large. The same idea as this original one, but my goodness, how they developed it, didn't they? I would like to see a three-dimensional version of this. So let's see if we can come up with someone. Someone like Ernie Rubik might be able to do it. <laughs>